Well, hello there everyone and welcome. Today, we're gonna be talking about mudrooms. About a week and a half ago, we did not have a mudroom. Um, when you come into our house, we had a very ugly shoe rack and somewhat of a coat rack and it was all naked and um, you could see everything and it didn't look pretty even if I clan it up. So my plan was to make a mudroom with a storage unit and a cute way to display my shoes. I came up with a pretty unique way to display my shoes, which could totally be used for herbs, plants. Um, I actually displayed a plant on there too, just to show you guys how cute it looks with plants. And you guys can use the same shelving system in your office or anywhere. I hope you guys love this idea. If you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. And if you've noticed I haven't posted in a while, don't forget to check out my blog. I post there as well. Okay, let's jump right in. As you can see, this shoe rack was quite wobbly and definitely due for an update. It started off by removing all the trim around the bottom. Yep, those are the colors our wall used to be. Red and green. <laughs> we then cut some plywood to put together the box for the bench. I first did my three walls with plywood and added some 2x3s to frame it off. I secured all the 2x3s to all three walls and went on by adding the two front 2x3s as well. Secure your 2x3s as you go. This will give it a nice and tight fit and you won't have to keep recutting your wood. We then installed the front panel to it as well. Following that, I sealed off all my edges with caulking to keep all the spiders out and gave it a nice coat of white paint. We decided to only have half the bench open up since the shoes would be displayed above it. So, I added another 2x3 going across the center of the bench and installed a lid with some door hinges. To finish off the bench, we installed a panel and secured it to the other half of the bench. Okay then, to make our shoe rack, we started off by making sure our first 2x3 wasn't crooked by using a level. I then used long screws to secure it to the wall. Following that, we stuck a shelf between the 2x3s to show how far up to secure the next 2x3. When securing each 2x3, make sure and put lots of pressure onto it from above so it's a super tight fit for your shelves. We used a total of 3 screws for each 2x3. Once we got to the top and the shelves were in our way of putting pressure on the 2x3s, we used some scrap wood with the same thickness. You can use scrap wood all along. We were just so caught up in this project, we didn't have it on hand. I ended up cutting a smaller piece towards the end. You can leave your wood raw, stain it, or give it a coat of paint. I ended up painting my 2x3s all white and left the shelves raw pine. And don't forget to seal off all your holes. Okay then, let's see it in action. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you aren't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe. If you're already following me, thank you so much for following me. I hope to see everyone next time. That's it for today. Bye.